Good day, Divine Masculines. I'm here with your daily ascension and healing message. What you most need to know to keep a positive mindset during your healing process, raising your vibration, and etc. Remember that Divine Masculine is an energy, not a gender, so you can be a male or a female. Personal readings are available. The link is in the description box, and you do get them within 24 hours of filling out that job form. Or you can email me. It's a masculine Aries who emailed me and I've emailed you back. I don't know if you've gotten those, but um, fill out the job form in the description box and I got you on whatever it is that you need to know. I think the email is like Philly boy or something like that. And anywho universe, what is my divine masculines most need to know today when it comes to working their light? It says, birthing a new age, Divine Masculines. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. You guys are releasing those soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Now you just need to go ahead and take that leap because the university is there to catch you. So birthing new creations. Let's see what we got going on here today in my Divine Masculine Collective. Birthing new creations, birthing a new age. Often our path is exactly the one that we don't feel prepared to walk. Walk it anyway. Often what is rising feels far bigger than we could possibly hold, but be a container for it anyway. Often our creations seem to have a wild, uncontrollable consciousness of their own. Birth them anyway. Often what is ours to do is the very thing that most intimidates us. Be courageous and do it anyway. Right now, we're in a transition period between ages. And the process of allowing the old cycle to fall away and the new to rise is like driving in the fog and trusting the road will appear ahead. We need to release old identities in ways that no longer serve us using our intuition as a compass. We're a part of a, a group of souls who've been incarnating at significant periods of history preparing for this exact time. So dreaming a new world into being. Witches, mystics, healers, seers, artists, priestesses, daughters of Isis, Magdalene daughters, visionaries, midwives, guardians of the earth, and storytellers. That's who we are. It's time to give permission and space for what is beckoning within to be born because we are dreaming a new world into being. And then there's an the activation. It says, I am open to surrendering to the creations that are wanting to be birthed through me. May I be of service in a way that delights my mind, body, and soul. Please use me. Please lead me. Please show me the way. It's an activation prayer. I'll put that in the description box as well. So let's see what 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 y'all could be possibly birthing at this time for my divine masculines. Some of you all are birthing relationships. You're birthing actual divine contracts and, and soulmates. Some of you are birthing working together on new projects and ideas with a soulmate. <clears throat> What else does Divine Masculine need to know about birthing a new age? <laughs> birthing a new age. Somebody's father is at a crossroad and a stalemate right now. They didn't see something coming. It's the King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. No, it's a king of pentacles and a queen of cups. That's creating something. Look, you got the emperor and the empress right here next to each other, right? Somebody's father or either just the older gentleman, take it how you want. They, they don't want that king of pentacles and queen of cups to come together. Because birthing that new age is going to be a smack in his fucking face. But all he's been offering to a group of people that he's been working with, it, it's been bad offers. It's been making people sick. 
and basically made a coven of bullies a group of bullies somebody's created a family of fucking bullies but the bullies are having their awakenings and understanding that it's time to close this cycle you could be one of the bullies or not only you know but yeah it's an ending to that it's an ending to ungrounded behavior uh trying to juggle multiple people at the same time due to being unhealed and cause competition and conflict the universe is done with that What else does my divine masculine need to know about birthing a new age? Somebody told a lie, a young fire sign told a lie to a, a young air sign about a masculine psychic. Um, whatever a Gregor was created out of that basically birthed sadness and um mm, it burst some sadness for some people yeah somebody created some chaos and somebody in other people's lives because they were resisting growth and now they're unstable if you've had instabilities divine masculine because this person created so much chaos and drama in your life the ending is coming so just make sure you let it go and furthermore with the five of cups in reverse this simply means see the silver lining and accepting the truth will put you on the path to healing and growth okay so this is a hopeful sign hopefully you perceive your situation from an uh, enlightened and awakened perspective all right Let's go to our healing card, healing message for my divine masculines today. <sighs> somebody wants to apologize to somebody and take off their mask, but whoever they're dealing with is playing victim. It's a childhood friend that, or, or somebody with childhood issues. I feel strongly it's a childhood friend that's playing victim. Yeah, look, they know that you've taken off your mask but they don't want you to actually discover your life purpose because your life purpose is to your life purpose is to birth a new age, not self-sabotage. Those you have you have people from your childhood that want you to self-sabotage your connection with your divine soulmate, not a karmic soulmate, but a divine soulmate. The universe says keep having faith. You already have some faith. Keep practicing patience. We talked about patience yesterday. What else does the divine masculines need to know today for their daily message when it comes to their healing and ascension universe? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh shit. Sorry. I'm listening to y'all. <laughs> ah, somebody told me to listen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know all about it. I know. I know. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. <sighs> they just want to have control. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody's family is about to fuck somebody up. I'm trying to tell you, look, you got love and self-love. Somebody's family is about to fuck a karmic up. What's up? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they just seen it in a dream. They just seen it in a dream. So they trying to think of all the spells that they've learned and just what they've learned, period, because they a sellout. They've been trying to figure out what they could do to stop this ass whooping from coming. And they can't. It's nothing they could do. They're a fucking sellout. It's the end of that cycle. They know they're in the cycle of getting their ass beat. 
they've been trying to do like spells to delay it and that only sped it up somebody about to get fucked up mm -mm. what does my divine masculines need to know for their daily healing message please and thank you universe oh okay inner child you guys make sure if you haven't already it's thursday i mentioned this monday if you haven't already please write a letter to yourself using your non-dominant hand as your inner child if you have a picture of yourself as a child look at yourself like in your eyes what is your inner child saying to you find out what will make your inner child happy and furthermore write a letter to your inner child from yourself as an adult like you know as an adult um some people some people are scared to do their shadow work they're scared to go back to who they were as a child because some traumatizing things may have happened you feel me um the most i can say is doing that letter is really it's really helpful like I'm going to share, I'm going to share my letter, okay? Dear younger self, I'm sitting here with our six kids, very thankful that we are healthy, safe, and our needs are consistently met. I'm pretty sure we thought we'd be married and moved into our and, per, and moved into our personally purchased home, but we aren't at the current moment. We have the prerequisites and are acquiring the necessary wealth to build our geodesic dome. Though our last child's father, I thought we'd be together, but he ran away before our daughter was born. We're handling this breakup with grace. Do you hear me? Our ascension is personal and we are going to accomplish whatever our heart and mind desires. Keep birthing our creativity and rebirthing our happiness and solitude. I've gotten back in touch with the voices. So that was the letter to my younger self. The letter from my childhood I'm not gonna lie my childhood was traumatizing on an emotional level and psychological level instead of like physical abuse or only having one parent and things like that so my childhood traumatizations came from being outcasted from my siblings and watching my parents be in a very distorted relationship so it was more psychological, but I spent a lot of time by myself as a child. Therefore, the voices, okay? I've been talking to angels for a long time. They weren't always nice, but I, that's when I would use my creativity. So I've, I've been transmuting negative emotions for 30 years, okay? And like, that's it, just... <laughs> Just write a letter to your inner child and write a letter to you from your inner child. That's, it's it's not hard. It'll be, it could be emotional, but that's how you can get out of a five of pentacles energy. You have to know that you are loved by your inner child. Some of you guys are defensive to your own emotions. And that's why you'll be in a five of pentacles energy. Okay. Walk away from the illusions of, of what you thought you were supposed to grow up to be. Because that's causing some towers. And depending on how big you want that tower to be, or do you want that, that tower to be positive or negative? Because you're in control of that. Some of y'all like, have put yourself in a self-made prison because you refuse to go back that far and love your inner child. It's nobody else's fault. It's not your parents' fault. It's not your girlfriend's fault. It's not your baby mama's fault. It's your own fault if you don't go at, go back and at least acknowledge the trauma. And the way that you can heal that trauma is by writing yourself a goddamn letter. It's that easy. The fuck? If you ain't making time to write yourself a letter to heal some trauma, come on now. What type of blessings do you expect? Don't. That's You're deceiving yourself. What does the bar masculines need to know? about inner child what is oh what is this yeah yeah you've gotten some aha moments you've gotten your revelations somebody may have gotten somebody pregnant um 
I mean, that is one of the many meanings of this card. But when it comes to your personal and spiritual life, this card represents that you'll feel healthier inside and out after you overcome the emotions of sadness, wildness, whatever from your childhood, okay? This card actually means pursue inner childhood healing work either by finding a new passion or engaging in a hobby that you once loved. Not immature hobbies like robbing people and shit or, or having sex with multiple women. And You got to put an end to those type of burdens. You have to study and come up with some new ideas. Come up with a new hobby. Okay? You're birthing a new age, Divine Masculine. So we have to do things differently. But you can't do anything different um, until you acknowledge those pay past pains from your childhood. Again, may, like some people's childhood, it wasn't that bad. So that's even better. Go write yourself a letter. Talk about how happy you are being a, a child. Or were. You get what I'm saying? Because you have to write a letter from your younger self to your older self. And then a letter from your older self to your younger self. You feel me? That's shadow work. That's shadow work. I get it. Some some fucked up things has happened. I trust me, I understand. But you can't push it away or ignore it because that's what's allowing energy vampires to feed off you. Okay? And they just go attract more and more energy vampires, divine masculine. And we don't need those type of hindrances. We have other things to birth. And congratulations if you do have a baby on the way.